Back to the grind with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters full time MMA. Damn it. I, I really had a feeling this was fake news anyway. I just wanted to get hyped because you had the opportunity to get hyped for it and it would have been from cool as hell and everybody cares about Brock Lesnar. Oh, most people. But the way the first guy was saying, oh yeah, he wants to be back by November 4th. And then a fan checked his ass and was like, what? He has to have four months. That wouldn't even make sense. And he was like, oh, well, maybe not November 4th, but maybe later than... It, it sort of seemed like fake news anyway. The fucking clown that reported this shit initially, he had on clown shoes in his initial reports. Yeah, that fucking fake news, man. I fucking hate fake news. I swear, dude. No truth, according to Jeff Nowitzki, to Brock Lesnar re-entering USADA testing pool. Fuck, dude. This is fucking corny as hell. I guess like Dana White says, if it didn't come from the horse's mouth, don't believe it, it's fake news. But then his ass will come out and lie to you with the swiftness too, so you'll never know who to believe. You're not gonna know if it's fake news unless it's coming. It's like only Ariel Helwani is the guy that doesn't ever have fake news like he confirms his shit with multiple sources and more than one person before he reports it you notice Ariel Helwani wasn't buying this Brock Lesnar bullshit Ariel Helwani didn't report it so you can't even it's like Ariel Helwani maybe MMA fighting <laughs> maybe the whole website maybe they're the only real news in MMA because Dana White says he's the real news but he'll come out and lie to your ass oh he'll never main event again UFC 214 biggest card in history guess who's main eventing the guy I said will never main event again. Yeah, you heard it here first. Real news. Like, so you can't even buy what Dana White says. You can't buy what these cornball reporters say off of websites like uh, Imports and stuff like that because they'll have some fake news on there with the swiftness. You can't believe what you hear on my channel because if I see some motherfucking fake news with a dope-ass headline, I'm going to talk about it just for the fact, the, the possibilities and the ideas. I'm not going to report it. I'm just going to talk about the possibility. So you can fuck around and see some fake news on this bitch, like when Brock Lesnar re-enters the testing pool. I'ma talk about the shit. But fucking, what, what can you do? That, that's dope news. I, and I want to see Brock Lesnar come back. What the fuck you mean? I want to see Brock Lesnar versus Fr I want to see Brock Lesnar in Bellator, though. I don't want to see him back in the UFC. I want to see him back in MMA. And I want to see Brock Lesnar at Bellator. I wonder how that would work. Bellator doesn't have USADA. Is there any fucking way in hell... Brock Lesnar could go to Bellator? Does he have a contract with the UFC? Does Or did, was that Nolan Void? After, was it only a one-fight deal? That would be crazy if he went to Bellator. Think about it. You could see either Brock Lesnar versus Frank Mir, the trilogy fight in Bellator, which would be insane because they've both already won one match apiece. Or, and there could be steroids, so Frank Mir would probably get dominated by Brock Lesnar in the trilogy fight, honestly. Or we could see Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Both of them used to fight in the WWE. Both of them moved over to MMA. Bobby Lashley's already with Bellator, so Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley's a possibility. Or, if you wanted to get crazy, I mean, you could see Brock Lesnar versus Fedor. A lot of, I mean, you probably don't want to see that at this point in Fedor's career. It's probably a better to see him do that in his prime. But it's just another heavyweight prospect over there. Fuck around and see Brock Lesnar versus Gegard. No, I'm just fucking around. Don't do that to my boy Gegard. But what about Brock Lesnar versus fucking Matt Mitrione? I'm just saying. Bellator's got some heavyweights. And honestly, between Bobby Lashley and Frank Mir, they've probably got the best possible matchups for Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar don't have to worry about USADA at Bellator. So what the fuck do you mean, dude? Why can't it happen? Coker, make it happen. I don't know if there's a deal that Brock Lesnar has with the UFC to where he can never fight for another organization, but you know how Brock Lesnar is. That motherfucker will clown Bud Light if they don't pay him enough, so I don't think the UFC can just lock him down like that. And if maybe his Mark Hunt fight was a one-fight uh, redeal, like I don't know if he had a contract before the Mark Hunt fight, or if it's something they just did, uh, if his contract was up and he just did a one-fight deal for that fight. But if he doesn't have a contract with the UFC, then I'm thinking Brock Lesnar to Bellator would be the dopest move ever. With that being said, I don't know what else to say, man. Fuck it. It is what it is. Fuck fake news. Let the haters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. Dude. What do boobs and toys have in common? They were both made for kids, but dads end up playing with them anyway. <laughs>